Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we will look at it. How do we integrate process in Oracle Visual Builder as a prerequisite? You have to first create a confidential application in OCI domain, and then you will be able to integrate processes in Oracle Visual Builder. Now I will show you first, how do we add the confidential application in Oracle uh, OCI domain, and then we'll show how do we use that confidential application in the Visual Builder to call the processes that has been created in OPA. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I guess. All right. So here, this is my OCI. Sign out now. What happened? You cannot extend this or down. Looks like some issues. Let me log in again here. Let me log in. Allow me a minute. Okay, so I have logged in successfully. You have to click identity and security. You have to go to the domains and you click on a default domain. Under default domain, make sure you go to the integrated application. From there, you can click on an add application and click on a confidential application and launch workflow. So you can give a name, let's say OPA2. Click next and click on a client configuration. There you can see only refresh token. If you scroll down, you have to choose this ad resource. Under ad resource, make sure you choose ad scope. And then you have to search this OPA, like OPA OIC, dev01. So let me search here your, this one, OPA. Okay, OPA OIC, which is your OPA URL. And make sure you add these three scopes and click on an ad. That's it. And guys, we will use that process uh, scope in the VBS application to authenticate. So click on the next. Finish. And make sure you activate your application. Don't forget to activate. So that is the confidential application that you have to create. Now you have to go to your VBCS. Let me refresh it first because there are some issues. Okay, now make sure you have created this OPA backend. How do we add this? You have to click on a plus button and make sure you simply click on the process automation. And when you do this, you have to add the URL here. Like I did that edit. You see, this is the base URL that I have added till.com. Meaning till.com, you have to take this URL and then put it here. And under authentication, you can choose this user assertion and then add that scope which we have added here this one so that is a security policy that you have to use that's it and then save so make sure you add that process automation backend now go back to your application that we were working upon and then go to the this thing click on a plus button service connection and then you have to click on select from catalog and click on this backend called process automation backend which will load all your application that you have created one of my application is called supplier management application which process you want to call supplier process you can give a service name let's say OPA and let's say create so it will add multiple endpoints you can see OPA has been added here and it will add multiple endpoints that you will see here less instance post. So I will use this API to start the new supplier process. So on that create button, I will call that API that we will look at it in the next, next video. Okay, so what we did, we simply added the confidential application in domain, and then we have created the backend with the OPA and then created a service connection with that backend, which will add four endpoints. And those four endpoints I will use to initiate the 
process. Right. Oh, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.